The OCR Image Reader Extension is a powerful optical character recognition extension to capture and convert images to text. We're going to go through this extension and the possibilities of how it can be used. So first of all, we must add this to our browser. Upon adding this to our browser, we then want to pin it to the browser toolbar. To do this, we simply select the puzzle piece and then select the pin icon. And now inside the browser toolbar, you'll see the blue icon here. This is the OCR Image Reader extension. So let's have a look at how it can be used. As an example, this is an image inside of a web page. We can't engage with any of the text on this image because it's built directly into that image. In fact, let's have a look at the image directly. So here, as I say, we can't engage with this. So what happens if we go ahead and use the OCR image reader? We simply select the tool, which then gives us this kind of grid format we see across the page. And we highlight over the section that we want to read. So we want to read all of the text. Now in the bottom right hand corner, you can see that it's starting to go through this image and recognize the text. And indeed, quick as a flash, it's finished. We go ahead and expand this, and we can see not only has this read the text perfectly, but it's also formatted it as well into the two separate paragraphs that we see here and into the different line breaks. So as it line breaks after two tests there, it's also line broken here. If we wanted to, we can go ahead and copy this text to our clipboard, collapse this back down, or close this entirely. We can then also use the tool if we wanted to, to just, for example, do one sentence. So we just do one sentence. And we go ahead and expand this, and it's just done the first sentence. So this is a very basic example of demonstrating the power of OCR. So let's see how much further we can take this. So having done this on an image, well, let's now take a look at a PDF. Here we see a PDF with quite zoomed out on the page as well. Let's go ahead and use the OCR across the text inside this PDF. Here we can see again in the bottom right hand corner, it's popped up and it's taken us through. You'll also see there's different language options here as well if we were to look at scraping different languages, not just English. Go ahead and expand this. We can see indeed, again, this imagery um, has been read or the PDF has been read and it's been converted to text, which now shows here and it's been line broken as well. We can also do this on a web page. So let's take a look at an actual web page text coming back to this tab. We can then go ahead and select this and select text on the web page, like so. The OCR reader then starts to read this text and will generate it in the bottom right hand corner as we see here. And it's done that correctly. Now you may think, well on a web page, we can just copy like this, and that's completely right. But the great thing about this extension is that it allows you to do this on web pages that have copying disabled. So let's look at this page as an example. I can select this text here, fantastic. I can copy that, that's no problem. But look at this text. I can't engage or interact with this text in any way, shape or form. However, if we use the OCR tool, we go ahead and select that. We'll now see this is being converted to text. And that now works. So as you can see, this allows us to easily interact with content across PDF, across images, across web pages, across um, pages with right click disabled or selection disabled. And it has a lot of different possibilities behind it when using imagery to text conversions and other things um, for this purpose. We can also go ahead and enable this on incognito mode of our browser as well, if we like. And to do this, we simply right click, click manage extensions, and then here where it says allowed incognito, simply select that. That then means that this will be in both the standard version of our browser and incognito mode as well.